Ethereum is being absolutely weird, and if that sounds interesting, you make sure to continue watching this video. We have officially broken 900 telegrams and heading over into 1000. If you want to know my altcoin picks as well as trading updates for this coming bull run, make sure to check out the link in the hey bio. Hey guys, me Church here. Welcome back to another Ethereum analysis video. As always, if you do enjoy my content, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. If you guys are interested in 35,000 on trading bonus, make sure to check out the link in the bio. Now, as per the intro, I understand everyone is freaking out. Oh my God, Bitcoin's at 44,000. What is Ethereum doing? Why is Ethereum not moving? I've heard it all, okay? Let's be realistic here and let's look at the per current price action. Now, from yesterday's video, I mentioned to you guys that 2122 is the deciding factor for Ethereum. We are in a consolidation zone. We are going to range in this consolidation zone for the next few days. What we need to see is a breakout of either 2305 or, of course, a breakdown of 2122. Consolidation zones are extremely choppy. Guess what? We were seeing the same sort of patterns at 2122 and 1936. I was getting the same exact messages then as well. Pingu, nothing's happening. I keep getting stopped out. I don't know what to do. And you know what, guys? Realistically, if you don't know how to trade consolidation zones, then don't bother trading these choppy areas. The market has seen some crazy wick opportunities. Doesn't mean that every single opportunity is a trading zone. And I'll explain to you guys how to trade these consolidation zones. But before we get into that, let's look at Ethereum from the four hour perspective. You can see that we are seeing multiple wicks, but we can see that we are seeing a continuation higher we are trading above the exponential moving averages the bulls are currently fighting for that zone as well as the fact that we have a very clean midterm resistance level here at 2270 i mentioned to you guys in telegram many times 2270 is going to be the midterm resistance break and the close for the confirmation of the continuation. Otherwise, all we really have to do in this zone is trade with the exponential moving averages. Now I'll explain to you guys how I trade these consolidation zones. What I look for is a candle close. Above the exponential moving average, I quickly enter a scalping position and I close that pretty much immediately after I see a little bit of profit. You don't necessarily want to start holding these consolidation zone positions because of how choppy it is. You can see that we had areas where we were in profit we had areas we were down profit down profit down that's why you don't necessarily want to trade and hold those positions you are much better off just scalping that zone every single time we end up retesting the exponential moving average if you see a gap area which i have taught you guys in telegram if you see that there's a little bit of a gap in between the ema and the retest then you can enter that long for the retest same thing happened here and i have been posting these little scalping positions in telegram for you guys so you guys can learn exactly why i'm saying to consolidate and use this as an aggressive standpoint. You don't see me saying we're holding this to the moon. We're not going 30. All I'm trading right now is this consolidation zone. What I want to see, of course, is the break structure of 2305. Does it mean that it's going to be as easy as it is from previously here? No. Why? Because look, the EMAs were using as support. This was a much easier trade zone than it is currently right now in between this chop area. Everything right now is a consolidation where you have to be very, very careful. Can the Wicks get extremely large. Yes, place your stops below the EMA. If we end up seeing that break of the exponential moving average, if you are scalping, it will chop and it will play with your emotions. You are much better off just holding the chop compared to uh, basically panic closing your positions. I see some people basically opening 5x positions, right? Let's say you're using lower leverage on Ethereum and your, your liquidation is all the way down at let's say 1300. There's no reason for you guys to be panic closing your positions if the price range is consolidating unless we break below 2122 then yes it's an invalidation zone otherwise just let the zone play out if you really are upset with your entry then find a better entry and take those scalping profits this can be used throughout all markets and i have taught you guys this over and over with consolidation zones and mostly on ethereum where exactly is ethereum heading well let's go ahead and look at the daily time frame we are still trying to break above the exponential moving averages on the daily which is why we are seeing such massive 
five wick opportunities. The bulls are trying to reclaim that zone. You can see from previous price analysis, this was a perfect support area being tested. Now it's turning into resistance. We have to be very, very careful. If we do end up seeing a strong bullish engulfing followed by a retest as support, then yes, we are going to see a massive move on Ethereum. If we continue to use this level as resistance without any sort of volume coming into the market, then I do have some bad news for you guys because of the fact that more times 2122 is tested as a support, the higher chances of it actually breaking. For those of you that do not know what to do in consolidation zones, just don't trade. It's very that simple. Not being in a position is a position within itself. Just be patient with your entries. And of course, with consolidation zones, make sure you guys are taking your profits as you get them. You can be up 10% at one moment. You can be down 20% at another moment. Please, please understand consolidation zones are very tricky to trade. You are much better scalping these ranges. But that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. As always, if you do enjoy my content, make sure to like this.